casting, the simple process that allows making complex structures. Hence, for thousands of years, casting has been used for a wide range of metalworks. New methods of casting are evolving, which are environmental friendly, less time consuming, and provide better quality of casted products. Lost foam casting is a type of evaporative casting process. First, a pattern is made from polystyrene foam. The minimum wall thickness is 2.5 mm. Typical surface finishes are from 2.5 to 25 micrometer root mean square. Typical linear tolerances are plus minus 0.005 mm by mm. Next, the foam cluster is coated with ceramic investment. Once dried, the pattern is placed in the mold. Feed and upriser components are added. The mold is then filled with unbonded sand and compressed. The ceramic coating captures the detail in the foam model, stopping molten metal from penetrating. Next, the molten metal is poured directly into the foam-filled mold, burning out the foam as it pours. As the foam is of low density, the waste gas produced is relatively lesser. Hence, the gas escapes through mold permeability. The permeability stops sand erosion. Once cooled, the casting is removed from the sand mold and the surface is cleaned of sand or surface paint. The final casting product is ready for use. Lost foam offers an environmentally friendly process with the added advantage of more accurate casting. Commonly cast metals include cast irons, aluminium alloys, steels and nickel alloys. Less frequently, stainless steels and copper alloys are also cast. The size range is from half a kilogram to several tons. Adoption of lost foam casting over lost wax casting leads to benefits such as a simple and affordable technique that can be used in home foundries. It reduces cleaning cost. Tooling used for the casting process does not wear away. Complex shapes can be cast in near net shapes. Casting requires minimal machining. Castings are dimensionally accurate with excellent surface finish. Sand used in the process can be reused. It requires less energy. Adaptation to lost foam casting in place of conventional mold casting leads to a saving of 10 to 15% in terms of energy in the overall foundry process. The estimated investment required to set up a greenfield vacuum-based lost foam casting plant of capacity 3000 tons per year is 2 crore rupees excluding land and development charges. The envisaged profit development from the business is 8 crore rupees per year implying a payback of less than a year. If the production volume is low, the cost of pattern is relatively high. Also, due to the low strength, the foam pattern could be damaged easily. Foam casting technique helps save raw material, energy and time. This new and better way of casting is opening up a new era of efficient production and sustainable business. MSME sector plays a very critical role for our country's economy. However, this sector needs a lot of information regarding the energy efficient technologies. BE is running a program for the SME sector to promote the energy efficiency. We want all the units to understand the latest technologies about the SMEs and let us march towards an energy efficient nation.